One of the things that I've learned to do post recovery of PNES is how to develop relationships with people that I'm more like-minded with. And that's really an important thing. Um, I think that sometimes we feel a connection with people and we try to force more connection and we're disappointed when it doesn't work out. But if we follow our gut initially, I think that a lot of the times that will steer us in the right direction. If you're familiar with Venn diagrams, um, you have two circles. I want to do this with my hands. You have two circles and um, they intersect and at wherever the intersection is, there's an overlap. So those two people, I mean, those two circles can represent people. And each person in our life, we have to decide for ourselves how much of an overlap there is, how much of an overlap we want, how much of an overlap they want. <laughs> and if it's compatible, that's with romantic relationships, with friendships, every kind of relationship, even in businesses, it's really important to make sure that you're in tune with the other person. Some of the like-mindedness has really paid off recently because I have, I've learned, <laughs> I've learned that um, other people who have a very similar drive that I do, which is to uh, get more awareness out there and to get hope, the message of hope out there, incorporate um, books and resources and videos and things like that in order to generate um, this information and make it global because the more people that know the more awareness there is and the more exposure there is which is really important um, to generate that understanding and compassion because whether or not we like it as people with PNES what is really mm, challenging are human relations. I know, I don't think, I know that a big part of that has to do with the traumas that we experienced uh, when we were younger, um, in our adolescence, as adults, whatever it was that kind of gave birth to the seed that developed the brain mapping um, that happened, which caused this malfunction, because that's what I see PNES as. It's a malfunction. We've been processing information improperly, and instead of being able to process stress, we are um, collecting it. And of course, unintentionally, on a subconscious level at some point, and at some point, our subconscious can't take it anymore. So the two people that I spoke with recently um, gave me a lot of hope um, that there is even more information or more action that we can take to get information out. One of, uh, one of my friends had taken copies of Dr. Lorna Meyer's book, uh, Psychogenic Non-Epileptic Seizures, A Guide, and took him to a local hospital, went to the PR department, and asked for approval for those books to be uh, given to the emergency room department employees and that was just I was so excited to hear that because one person has now made God knows how many people's experience better the potential is there now for people to have a better experience he also shared with me that he had requested for her book and that this is applicable for any book um, for books to be um, kept in the library or ordered for their local library. And that's, again, something that anybody could do. I don't even think you need to be a, um, well, you probably want to become a library card holder. Um, but that's something that anybody can do. Another um, friend had told me that he had taken a printout that he had 
um, printed offline from Dr. Ben Body, and uh, who is down in Tampa, Florida, and had taken it to the neurology department, and his doctor had then, unbeknownst to him, had done a training with his staff about conversion disorders. And so two little actions, I mean, of course, to varying degrees, it's affecting so many, so many people's experiences from that point. So what we need to do is take action. And these are some really positive ways that we can do that. If we are not forcing ourselves and accusing others of not wanting to understand, then we won't put them on the defensive and they'll be more open. So this is these are just three things that we can do. We can talk to our local hospitals, PR department, um, provide them with material that is helpful for education for PNES. We can request materials for our local libraries and we can print out um, information online. And again, you want to pick a reliable source. So Dr. Myers, Dr. Benbadi, uh, I will put links to their sites and um, some information. Print those out and bring them to any doctor. You can carry those with you so that you can share the wealth of information. And I truly do see how impactful these small actions can be. We can affect, we can create a great change. So again, the key is action. We have to take action. If you see a problem, and this is in our own lives too, if you see a problem, you can come up with solutions. And only with coming up and trying different solutions are we going to be able to resolve the problems. Let's change our view and instead of seeing things as problems, seeing them as challenges. Let's come up with ideas and experiments of how to solve these challenges.